And this mm. means that I am the best kickboxer in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm so f cool, I actually have two world titles in no. two different ways. Hey, that's a W flex. I'll be the same way. I can see why John Cena all the time when he gets the belt, he's like, In the middle of the night, I smoke some dope just to let it go. Baby, let me dry the boat. Freedom, nigga, then death row. In the end, I carry all my sorrow, all my agony. All my agony. Don't switch up, nigga. Yeah, I know they really not for me. They not. We'll talk about God, but I already know what that is. Andrew Cobra Tate is currently the most viral person in the world. More people are searching for him than Kim. Hold on, gang. Show me a video too. Dark reality of Andrew Tate's rise to fame. I don't know if you guys really know Andrew Tate like that. I'm pretty sure everyone knows Andrew Tate somehow, some way. But he's like, first off, he's top J. He's top J. Let's not forget that, okay? But in all seriousness, no, this man's ideologies is like. I don't even know what word to describe it, but the way he be de describes the acts that women should do is like, I don't know. I don't know, because definitely, I don't know. He's, he's just top J. He's just Andrew top J. He's just currently talking. the most viral person in the world. More people are searching for him than Kim Kardashian, the NHL, Joe Biden, and the entire country of Romania, which is where he no. currently resides. He gained over 2 million followers in the past few weeks, and that doesn't even represent how much dominance he's had over all of social media in the past few months. Why? Well, every couple of Yo, years- Look at his shoulders, though. I need to get- I need to get right. I need to get right back in the gym. I need to get back. Because- I need bowling ball Social shoulders. media gets introduced to a new self-proclaimed alpha male, yep. red pill yep. finance yep. expert who flaunts his Oh my gosh, I've seen all these people. Yo, he's the OG. He's really the OG. He's really the OG. He's the person, I ain't gonna say, I was looking him up in high school, but you know, I definitely knew people. Like, he would come up on my recommended hella. And then you got Fresh and Fit, Kevin Sands, basically the black pop, uh, uh, Andrew Tate. He, he, he uses rationality too. He'll say some wild shit here and there, but... Not nearly as much wild shit as, as Andrew Tate. I remember him, the one that always used to promote Lamborghini, how he got it. I don't know where he's at now, but I've never seen him before. And now we have Thanos. Top J. Style and work ethic, who is idolized by a community of other males online. But Andrew is not just a typical phony that's pretending to be he's something really he's not Thanos for a little of bit of YouTube views and pills. Instagram followers. He really is a multimillionaire. He really is a kickboxing world champion, oh. but he's also accused of being a money laundering Romanian mafia ally who runs a global sex trafficking business while selling his Make Money Fast course, dubbed Hustlers University, to his millions of followers. Okay. Most videos covering Tate just focused on the surface level stuff he says for views. If my chick said I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? 10 grand, all right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would, what woman is gonna give you eight grand? Cause she's, it's my, you're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling my product. Your products. Yes, the correct. Not, not Next question. Possession. No. That's the world we live in now. Females are entitled and fucking lazy. Another thing I learned is that women are only loyal to the dick they're sucking. He says these shocking and be. I don't want to That's cap wildering ideals to get a rise out of people. Those reactions, whether they're good or bad, lead to more views and obviously fame and It's followers. crazy because this shit going up too and it's gonna build on top of him. Yeah. Damn, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. A strategy is. He does believe what he says, but the way he says these things is calculated. You can find hours and hours of content where he sits oh. down and talks about things like, should you let your girlfriend go to the club? And can your girlfriend have a guy best friend? But I want to go deeper. Guy best friend thing is kind of crazy. Guy best friend thing is kind of crazy. Where does this behavior come from? Why does he have all these shocking allegations against him? Let's take a look at the dark side of Andrew Tate. Andrew's father, Emery Tate, oh, was he is described right. by his peers as somewhat of a superhero. 
He was a staff sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. He was fluent in Russian, Spanish, German, and English. A martial artist as well. But mm. most notably, he was a chess international master who had many victories over grandmasters. A grandmaster is the highest level you can achieve as a chess player. To this day, the chess world is confused why he was never officially a GM when he met all of the qualifications. Emery was a trailblazer and inspiration for black <laughs> chess players around the world. Head is crazy. Unfortunately, chess doesn't pay the bills. Emery was poor. He competed in tournaments and pickup games in the park for money to get to his next location or next meal. He raised his three children to think like him. Think of life like a chess match. Every move is calculated, knowing what won two, or even ten moves will come after that. Emery was nomadic, multicultural, and free. He encouraged his children to be the same way. Andrew grew up in Gary, Indiana, notoriously one of the worst places in America. He took mm. a liking to chess. At age five, he was an Indiana state champion. At six years old, he was playing against three ten-year-olds and winning. Then at age 11, his parents got divorced, and his mother moved him and the kids to Luton, England. This is where he would grow up. Living with his mother meant that he no longer had a chess coach. He no longer spent three to four hours a day with his dad learning strategy. All okay. he had was his younger brother Tristan, which altered his life immensely. I didn't even know he had a brother. He picked up fighting around age 15, which became his new passion. Fighting and chess are similar in two ways. Each sport is a one-on-one -on -one battle between two people. You gotta be There's five basically steps ahead no of your luck opponent. involved. Every move, movement, punch, and piece movement no. needs to be calculated. No. Your opponent must react based on your choice. The biggest difference is that fighting is obviously physically demanding and mentally challenging, no. whereas chess is only mental. Because of his chess background, he was already mentally ready. As he grew tall and strong, he obeyed his trainer and worked to become a six foot four, 200 pound kickboxing mixed martial artist. In the early 2000s, he fought in an MMA league and a kickboxing league. He had a three and two amateur record in the MMA Ultimate Warrior Challenge Not in the bad. UK. In his pro MMA debut, he knocked out Shane Cavanaugh. However, he stuck to kickboxing since he made more money from it. In his international no, sport of kickboxing- Yo, he been on that Cobra thing, bro. I go, that's kind of hard, except that's how is like the placement is kind of mid, but that's neither here nor there. Asian career, he lost his first two fights, then went on a four consecutive win streak before getting a title shot against Paul Randall in 2009. He won the cruiserweight championship in this bout, then he defeated Daniel Hughes for the IK cruiserweight title. But before social media dominated our world, yep. someone like Andrew had to resort to more classic media like radio and TV to get his name out there and promote fights. Around 2009, he explored the world of reality Boy, TV. Got some ears the Ultimate on. Traveler was the first show Andrew appeared on. The concept was six amateur backpackers competing for $12,000 by trying to navigate Indonesian challenges with no knowledge of the country. On this show, it was That's clear kind of Andrew was the same guy he is now. Yo, him at 21 looks so different than me at 21. He looks like he's still 16, 18, bro. Me, I look like I'm 24, 25, you know what I'm saying? I, I grew out of the baby face. Even though if I cut my face hair, I'm back to that, but that's not happening. So. Not a millionaire. Me and her have completely opposite trade-offs, and she wants the executive class and, and you know, and a nice hotel, etc. And she expects me to front that with my tra Travel of the Week money, but I'm not going to. Chloe's really broke, and she keeps dropping hints. He stand on it! She drops, I'm not going to spend money unless I want to. His brother Tristan, who had a very similar life path, was on Shipwrecked, an island survival reality show. The two became go-tos in Europe reality TV for so producers light. that needed tenacious and cocky young men. He got a shot at the ISKA World Light Heavyweight title on a three-day notice against Frenchman Jean Benoit. He lost. However, his team submitted a video of the fight and demanded a rematch in which he was granted, and won the second time by knockout in the eighth round, making him world champion for the very first time. This is Andrew Tate. I am the ISKA Kickboxing World Champion, the ISKA World's Most Amazing Person. Funny, tall, muscly. By the time he was 27, he had multiple world titles and successfully Ooh, defended boy, like my he had a Lee. number of different fights in different leagues <laughs> all around the world, such as in Fusion <laughs> 9, IKF, and ISK. Stop it. I'll put you in the coffin. This is a world title, and this mm. means that I am the best kickboxer in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm so f***ing cool, I actually have two world titles no. at two different weights. Hey, that's a W flex. I'll be the same way. I can see why John Cena all the time when he gets the belt, he's like. <laughs> so while you're best in the world at nothing, you're not even the best in your town at anything. I'm the best in the world. 
twice. Andrew knew he was losing the love for fighting, but he was clearly worried that his life would spiral out of control if he didn't have enough money to keep him from being bored. If I had enough money to constantly entertain myself, Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. It was time to build his empire. In 2015, he quit fighting to solely focus on making money. He sat down with his brother Tristan and said, how can we get rich? They spent countless hours on YouTube, researching the Federal Reserve, banking institutions, inflation, investing, and how money works. One day while scrolling through the internet, he saw an ad. Talk to live girls now, which brought him to a live stream where you can communicate with a real woman. He immediately realized the opportunity of creating a webcam business because he conveniently had six uh, girlfriends in different countries. Six. Evidently, being a world-class athlete gets women very interested in you, even if you aren't rich. He told them all to fly to London because he had a business proposal. When they got there, they all looked at each other shocked. Two of them felt betrayed and left. Four of them heard his business plan, and only two of them stayed. So it was just the Tate brothers and their two girls. The girls would do their thing on camera, chat with the men. They had a keyboard that was unplugged, but Andrew would sit behind the computer off camera and talk to the men in the live chat, pretending to be the girls, and they would do things or say things in exchange for money. He said he was generating around $3,000 per day. And once the girls learned they could do it themselves, then I thought, I don't know, I need some more chicks. In order to grow his business efficiently, he needed to hire women who would offer themselves. Oh my, that is smart but smart in a manipulative way. That is smart. A fake keyboard and you're really typing because you understand how these men are women. For his service, but not have the ambition or expertise to build a website, run ads to get traffic, then converse with men online, maintain their finances, pay for the internet, and all the overhead that goes along with running an online business. A cam girl is, is much more a therapist than she is a porn star. Thanks. Like she can make so much money from showing her whatever, but she makes the big money from making these guys like her, being funny, banter. Basically, he was building what exists on Twitch today in the hot tub. Oh! <laughs> no, Tate's an OG. He's an OG top G. He really been doing this before the hot tub streams were going crazy on Twitch. Especially her right here, bro. No diss to Amarith, like Amarith, she's a cool person, very valid person, very cool person. Especially when she be hanging with your rage or Kai, but yo, she's running it, bro. She's running it. She's running it. I gotta give her the credit. And it's crazy because if I really look at her stats, probably 7,000 are men. Probably 500 are women, just like chilling there. Ah, oh, what are we doing, bro? Hub section. At his peak, he had 75 women working for him at four different locations. However, this was a huge mistake, according to him. 75 women worked for me at the peak of it all. But that was a mistake because when you have a bunch of girls working for you like that, the only way you can motivate them is with money. When I started, the girls worked for me because they loved me, right? That's the old school pimp game, isn't it? Downsizing to just eight <laughs> women, four of which were his girlfriends and four were his brother Tristan's girlfriends, was when they all worked together to make the most money they ever had. Since they were all motivated and in his words, in love with him, they were able to generate $400,000 per month with his online cam business. That when right. a, girl, a girl worked for me, it was 50-50. So the girls who loved me and worked for me, my main girlfriends, they'd get probably around 20% of their money. I'd keep 80% of the money they made. Some people immediately look at this and think, well, he's a pimp, insinuating that, that these women are afraid of him. Like he's online forcing pimp. them into doing work that they don't want to do. He's not people though. have this idea that, oh, you're a pimp. You just get these girls, you say work and they're scared of you and they just work. It's bullshit. I was doing this in London. A girl could have walked out the door any day, called the police on me any day, and they didn't. They wanted to be with me because they genuine, genuinely understood that their life was better if they obeyed me. Olivia, Jesus Christ. I was the second man she ever in her whole life, man. It, it hurt her at every moment that I was <laughs> doing it, but it felt good for me, so who gives a shit? Andrew uses strong uh... words like obey me which is what tends to get him in trouble a lot. His strong diction indicates he is totalitarian and dictator-like, but some people argue that he just speaks as clearly and directly as he can. If he said, my girls trusted my ambition and leadership, people might not be as shocked. But when you Thanks. read what he wrote on his website, it insinuates that his girlfriends were coerced into working for him and Whoa. maybe didn't leave because of fear. I've had over 75 girls work for me and my business model is different than 99% of webcam studio owners. Over 50% of my employees were actually my girlfriend at the time. This and none kidding. were in the adult entertainment industry before they met me. Mm. 
Sadly, in 2015, Emery Tate passed away unsuspectedly during a chess match in California. He was 56 Ugh. years old. May he rest in peace. Now retired OG from fighting, Tanji. he needs to occupy his time. He gets invited to do the show Big Brother UK for its 17th season. The format of the show is very similar to a typical reality series. A bunch of contestants in a house, they have to do challenges to maintain a status in the house. One person gets voted out each week until the last person ends with a cash prize. But we all know the challenges are like 10% of why people watch and 90% is for the drama, relationships, Even though I don't watch Big Brother, and chaos that comes with strangers I've heard of living before. together. After just seven days on the show, he was booted off. Andrew wow. says it's because the producers were afraid of a physical altercation taking place in which obviously Tate would destroy the other men in the house. However, there was a video made public that shocked a lot of people. Oh, I see this. I see this man, bro. Tate, bro. What are you doing, my boy? What are you doing? What is he doing here, my boy? You look crazy in this video. Absurd. Like a lunatic. Stranger danger. Ice cream truck, man. I don't know what else I can call you, but bro. Domist. Kicked off the show. Hold on. Whoa, 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 not Tate said that a part of the video was cut out where they were laughing and joking, making him look bad. He also provided a video of the same girl and her response to the outrage on social media, leading people to believe that it was consensual. Are you gonna do it again? Are you gonna do it like a man this time? <clears throat> like a man this time. Last time I beat you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like a pussy. Yeah. I beat you so bad. I've been called a woman beater all over the country. Yeah, to me, that was like a pussy. You need to do it like a real man. Or is that taking a bell off? Regardless, Tate was increasing his reach. His social media started growing slowly but surely. Twitter became his new vehicle to stay relevant, and the cam business was making him rich. The next major business move for the Tate brothers was cryptocurrency. So I was buying Bitcoin when they were $3,000 with my webcam money. Tens of thousands of dollars of Bitcoin. My net worth would be half of what it is if I'd never invested in cryptocurrency. But at the time, I didn't see it as an investment. I was in a world where the people I was dealing with took crypto. It was easier for me to take their crypto than to take big bank payments. They didn't buy into crypto because they were savvy investors. They insinuated that the business people they were dealing with preferred to use an untraceable and encrypted payment method. Spending tens oh, of thousands of dollars in Bitcoin led them to getting filthy rich by kind of by accident. Bro. For the next couple of years, Andrew casually flaunted his lifestyle on Instagram while being very openly supportive of Donald Trump and the MAGA community. He has been seen having dinners and meetings oh, that's with what's her name. Right journalists and politicians. That's what's her name? Oh, Candace Parker. He has been seen having dinners and meetings with famous right-wing journalists and politicians. Obviously, this made him a lot of enemies Oh, yeah, put a tooth under the, the big toe, kick cool. King of toxic masculinity. However, he ran into a major problem that almost destroyed his cam business. Oh, Tate me. owned a 10-bedroom house that became the workspace for these women. Uh -huh. He kept food and alcohol in the house so that they could loosen up for work. The uh -huh. girls used to drink, and this one girl drank too much wine. She threw up everywhere. I told her to clean up. She started giving me some attitude, so I took all her sh threw out the window. Got her two arms, took her ass, put her outside my door. The girl demanded that he pay her the 1,000 euros that she was owed, and he didn't. Then three months later, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the oh. English police raided his house. They took $100,000 worth of electronics, computers, cameras, and phones, and opened an investigation on him. Apparently, the woman just said that he hit her, and that prompted this raid. The door comes off the hinges, boom, police bust in. Yeah. Fully armored helmet. However, every single girl that was in the house defended Andrew and said that he did not hit her. W girls. She was lying. The woman even admitted to lying about the situation, but it still took him two years. Yo, lying about, come on, bro. Why is it? Why is he lying about getting beat? Years and messing up. I mean, his his whole career is not like you know, you know, f fully follow through, but fully clean, but. Come on, man, he worked hard to get here, bro. $450,000 like, like in legal fees for the case to close and for him to not be charged with any crimes. This well, situation prompted his move to Romania, which was the ideal place for him to live for a few different reasons. People say, why did in Romania? And I explain my five reasons. One of them is the Me Too era. They go, oh, well, you're a rapist. I say, no, I'm not a rapist. 
But I like the idea of being able to just say to, to do what I want. I like being free. And about a police chief, I told him my story. And he said, well, in Romania, if she doesn't have proof of physical, if she doesn't have physical evidence, then there's there's no progression. If she can't say, here's a red mark or here's a, here's a, here's where he hurt me, there's no case. Mm-hmm. And it's word on word. And I said, that makes a lot more sense. So Romania is absolutely corrupt. Uh, I believe that. I mean, a lot of women lie about being raped, but then also really fucks up. Some of them don't have evidence, so the cops just take the word. So in general, favor towards women, quality, but in justice systems, quality, and in general, men and then black men. I kind of, I kind of fuck with that. But it's a hardcore because that's really how the justice system should be. You need evidence, real evidence. Corruption that everyone can participate in. I would much rather live in a country that's corrupt where I get stopped for speeding and I give them a little bit of money than a country that's corrupt like America, which says it isn't corrupt. You have to be a billionaire and have a private jet and go to islands to get away with it. You know, like if, if you're going to be corrupt, which every nation on earth is, then let everyone play the game. It seems like Andrew moved to Romania to participate in a corrupt society. His mindset is that all governments are corrupt. At least in this country, he can be a part of it. So he started a new life with new businesses in Romania. There isn't a ton of information about his businesses, and he obviously doesn't like to talk about them. However, he bought a bunch of land out there and now cultivates tobacco, which he intends on producing his own cigars. He also owns 10% of the RXF, which is basically like the Romanian UFC. Some of the fights, he and his brother Tristan do the English commentary. I never dreamed I'd have that name called out at a fight show that I was commentating, Andrew. Around 2017, Andrew decided to ramp up his social media presence, taking to YouTube and Twitter to start sharing his thoughts on the world. The very first video, Andrew Tate on oh, Gun Control. Oh, man. <laughs> My name's Andrew Tate. I'm the most knowledgeable human in the world. That very first sentence set the tone for his YouTube career. He started posting vlogs to showcase his lifestyle. Fast cars, women, traveling all over the world. But more notably, he started posting these short videos where he quickly speaks his mind on a variety of random topics. Why real men don't cry, alcohol, top five reasons you should never own a cat. Basically, if you <laughs> saw a Tate upload, you knew it was going to be a farce. I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat gluten. Okay. What is, have you achieved anything else in your life? Do you have any actual <laughs> personality? Are you anything? Or are you just a person who doesn't eat bread? And I hate when I tell people my story. They people. really make that their own personality. I'm not going to lie. And it's crazy because. Turbulent story. Like, like well, bro, you know who cares? that air travel is the safest form of travel. Don't come at me with statistics, motherfucker. I know statistics. I do not like, and I will never, ever wear headphones in public. When you put your headphones in and you're walking down the street, listening to your music, you are a target. Some child is outside enjoying. <sighs> this is what I mean when his takes be making sense, but also they don't, because that makes sense, because you don't know what's going on around you, which is why I always have one AirPod in. Think, boys life, and girls. Playing think. with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. His wow. over abrasive delivery makes you wonder if he's just joking or not. These YouTube videos were designed to drive traffic to his website, tateshinkai.net, where he sold a course on how to get girls, a course on how to get in shape, a course on chess, uh. a course on body language, and even a course on building your own webcam empire. Everything you would see from a typical YouTube She's guru. Ugly as hell. Over time, right kind of he fun. started to move outside of the pointless rants and into more serious topics. My problem with that gentleman is not that he was black. My problem with that gentleman is that he pulled a machete and tried to kill someone in broad daylight. I think that you, as a person, can save the West and be more powerful than all the information, Google, the media, all the external forces, all these people pushing for America's demise. You don't stand a chance because I'm a happy, contented individual. And all the people who sit there and tell me, you shouldn't be oh so arrogant. They're the people who are unhappy. You shouldn't be arrogant. You should be like me, a meek, humble piece of shit. Well, I don't want to be like you because you're a fucking loser. What's interesting is that Andrew didn't talk much about women and relationships too much in the beginning of his YouTube career. Sure, he had a video here and there about his views, but most of his videos were focused on money, success, and the mindset to get there. However, these types of videos typically are associated with the YouTube pickup artist, the ladies' man. I remember. Why do I remember him, bruh? 
As time went on, Andrew's followers requested that he give advice on women, male and female roles, and how he's able to have success with women. Girls run their mouth. I start beating the f*** out. I'm not even having sex. They love it more than ever. They like it more. The less sex you have with them, the better. I have nothing to talk to women about besides either sleeping with them or... The... Wait. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Men trying to get laid so they can be friends with the girl. Uh, they can uh, and let them f*** her. Obviously, his bold statements and opinions ruffled feathers. It was the type of content that attracted a lot of anti-women incels. But a lot of his fans see the truth in his statements despite- Look, bro, the crazy thing is, none of these people have profile pictures of them in it. Their fucking opinion doesn't matter. His bold delivery. He started getting more attention from YouTubers like Mr. GG and Leon Lush, making commentary videos about him. Comedian Tom Segura and his wife Christina P would react to his videos very often on their podcast, with their that reactions nice getting backdrop. hundreds of thousands of views. However, that only helped him grow more. The War Room launches. The War Room is a global network in which exemplars of individualism work to free the modern man from socially induced incarceration. In 2019, it only cost $500 to get in. Today, it costs $5,000 to get in. So who could possibly be in the network that would make it worth this much money? Well, there's author, Bobby Dino, and Iggy, master of spells and shadows. The War Room in Miami looked like some powerful congregations. It's pretty unclear as to what they actually do. Oh God, there's a bot. Making money is easy. You just take it from somebody. It's kind of like a country club. You get next to other people with money, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee you success. The biggest and most notable business he is associated with are the 15 casinos he opened up in Romania. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, his casinos closed down just three months after they opened. So the first thing is I own some casinos in Romania. Three brothers, mafia guys, they own 400 casinos throughout Eastern Europe. I came up to him and said, look, I want to do a franchise with you. They said, we're not interested in franchises. We have enough money. We just opened them ourselves. We turn over 10 million euros a day. Why do I need your franchise? Eventually, I came up with a plan. And I said, look, how about this? I'll open up your locations directly next to your biggest competitor. Worst case, a location doesn't pay any money, but at least it takes money from your competitor. I'll give you a percentage of turnover. So even if it doesn't make profit, you make money. I'll take all the financial risk. I'm not sure what casinos they are, but just by a quick Google search, it seems like a ton are still closed in Romania. So he's been paying rent and they haven't been open for potentially two years. The pandemic yeah. impacted businesses around the world. Everyone was facing some serious financial pressure. So Andrew needed a way to come up with a new cash flow method. Hustlers University 2.0 was born. This was a no-nonsense crash course on how to get rich fast and be successful in business taught by a multi-millionaire. In Hustlers University 2.0, we teach about fast money. I don't teach you how to save more money in a stagnant pool because that's the way you listen. If you do that, you're always going to be poor. Hustlers University and that the War Room seem true. to provide the same information as to how to make money online. The War Room just hosts meetings in the physical world and costs $5,000. We help people get multiple passports and multiple residencies, multiple bank accounts because I believe your number one priority as the world reopens should be getting as many passports and residencies as possible because slavery is absolutely coming to the world. The university costs $50 per month and will teach you 18 modern wealth creation methods to get rich quick. These methods are so that you can escape the matrix. So any form of oppression no longer applies to me. I can't be canceled, my finances are secure, I've escaped the matrix. And when I talk about the matrix, it primarily applies to men because men are the backbone of the slave force. In order yes. to effectively promote this business, he needed to take to social media. Andrew realized producing his own content was too limiting. He needed to collaborate with people who already had followings and platforms. He shows up, talks shit, <laughs> people, I was in that stream. His course. So he does a media tour. Some key podcasts that helped him were the Fresh and Fit podcast, who are known in what is called the Manosphere, which is a group of content creators who have very strong opinions on men and women gender roles. They typically admire and praise the traditional way of male and female dynamics. Man works, pays the bills, women raises the kids. Fresh and Fit are probably the biggest and most culturally relevant of all the podcasts in this media tour. True. They absolutely obsessed over Tate, fawned over him. Now three of their biggest the podcast romance. episodes ever are with Andrew, and he got adopted by that community. Another one that helped him a lot was Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, where Tom was genuinely laughing at Tate's jokes and genuinely agreeing with his ideals. Tom praised his comedy, which is a huge cosign from a professional stand-up comedian. You're so rich, but you're smart, and you're actually very intelligent, and I know you'd get really bored of a, like, a robot. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch, I wish to God you were a robot. <laughs> You better shut the f up. We talk about star signs? Oh yeah, I'm so glad. Tell me more about by Sagittarius rising. So I've, I've had this argument with a feminist before. She's like, oh, well, we, we've never tried matriarchies. We've only tried patriarchies, blah, blah, blah. And I said, listen, bitch. <laughs> 
Some people thought this was all a character. Some people hated him for his abrasive and misogynistic takes, and some people praised him for being the ultimate alpha male. The combination made him an unstoppable force. His follower counts were rising significantly. In December 2021, he had 6,000 students paying him $50 a month on Hustlers University. $300,000 per month. That's not bad. Today, he has 110,000 students paying $50 per month. That is $5.5 million per month. $66 million per year, all profit. He says this course isn't about money. It's just him genuinely trying to better people's lives. He says, I already have money. I don't need money. It's the perfect sales pitch. Now, nobody who signs up will think they're getting scammed. He said his brother makes about $300,000 per month on his OnlyFans management business. His 15 casinos have a ton of overhead costs. On top of being closed for two years, they would have to be in the heart of Las Vegas to pull anywhere near $1 million per month. His online course is more than likely his most successful business he has ever built. This course was all built on the idea of getting rich like him, and he was rich before, but $300,000 per month and $5 million per month are way different levels. Now he is filthy rich. So am I suggesting he made millions of podcast appearances? No. Well, not exactly, but he did make a very key change in his approach that changed everything. He instructed the members of the war room to blow him up on social media. This is how. He went on as many podcasts and talk shows as he possibly could. While he was there, he performed. He told his members to clip as many segments as they could, edit them up a little bit, make an Andrew Tate page on TikTok, YouTube, or whatever oh, social media. Oh, he's... Oh my gosh, bro. You gotta respect that part at least, bro. Bump everything else. You gotta respect that 200 IQ right there. That's, bro, that's some junk I would do, bro. It, like, the more I really, like, lock in on this Twitch and YouTube stuff, I'm a literally, like, Kai, Rage, Bruce, Mario, Agent, all of them, they have, like, plug channels or whatever, but it's basically what they're doing. It's basically what they're doing. Clip things, upload it, and then you have another channel where you upload real videos. It's 200 IQ. It's double the money, double everything. Really just got to think of, he, he was basically doing this before play channels were doing this for Twitch people, if that makes any sense. I don't know what year this was all happening, the the clipping and stuff, but if it was before Rage put on play channels, then hate is still an OG. Media and post the clips as if it was him posting. The clips constantly went viral because of how polarizing he is. Andrew has an official YouTube and official Instagram not even a Twitter anymore. Some students have TikTok accounts with hundreds of thousands of followers from simply clipping his podcast appearances. In their bio of their pages, they will have an affiliate link to the Hustlers University course. If someone signs up through their link, they get 10% of the first month signup fee, which is $5. So thousands of students are reposting his content, getting hundreds of thousands of followers, millions of views, absolutely flooding every algorithm on every social media with That's videos smart. of him, making That's him smart. insanely famous. Then when they get that attention, they use it to promote his course in which they make five dollars one time and he makes forty five dollars then fifty dollars a month every month after literally all these people are grinding for him for maybe a five dollar sign up and if nobody signs up andrew still benefits because his fame and relevance is skyrocketing but like i said before 110,000 signups five million dollars per month his plan is working exactly the way he wanted it to and you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. Yeah. The average amount of money the, the person makes in their first month is only $300. doesn't matter. It costs you $50 to join. After three months, $150 commitment. The average amount of money created by each individual is over $1,800. So his modern making money fast techniques lead to an average of $300 in the first month, a whopping $250 profit in 30 days. That's $8 per day or $1 <laughs> per hour. And after three months, you'll average $1,800. That's $1,650 profit. Jump up to $18 that per day terrible. or $2.25 per hour. You can't just save money in a stagnant pool. You need to learn how to get fast money. First month is only $300. And buy the right things quickly. First month so is only $300. Comes in, so you can buy more. 
So according to his averages, working at McDonald's is a seven or eight times faster money-making method than his course. I'm if you saying. try to do any research on what the course entails, it's all videos of other people who are saying positive things about the course so that you will sign up using their affiliate link and they get paid. So we don't really oh know how gosh. valuable the information is inside the course. He was arrested. On April 11th, Ooh. 2022, the Romanian police responded to an alleged kidnapping that two women were being held against their will in Andrew Tate's house and being forced into sex. One of those women was American. The police were alerted by officials of the US Embassy in Romania. The brothers were arrested, the house was searched, but nothing really happened and they were released. The report says that there is an ongoing investigation looking into a potential human trafficking case with these men. The Tate Bruh. brothers said that the American- Why is Tate always getting in some, in some stuff, bro? But it, it's not even the guys that do it though, it's the women. Like, I don't know if it's because they want to see Top G go down, or if it's because, like, they just hating on my boy for stacking his bread up. Or, like, they really just, like, are messing with Tate and Tate's, like, going crazy with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that one video came out, I, I really hope there's no more. Like, I hope these women are capped. But if they're not, then I greatly apologize. And y'all are, y'all just need to start exposing him, bro. American girl's boyfriend got jealous that she was at their mansion and he called the cops lying saying that she was held against her will. I get about like I said, bro. Maybe hating like 50 to 100 DMs on Instagram a day from women. Yeah, please ha kidnap me. Ha women, <laughs> please. Will you kidnap me? Smiley face. Yeah. Tate fans say, well, if they were actually doing those crimes, then they would be in jail. Whereas other people point out that a human trafficking investigation could take many, many years to conduct. Some people think he's guilty because of his suspicious ways of recruiting women to work for his cam business, on top of Tate's convenient reasons why he wants to live in Romania. So Romania is absolutely corrupt. It's a corruption that everyone can participate in. Just say no more fucking this. But I like the idea of being able to just say to, to do what I want. Laws don't really apply to you. If they made a law in the UK I was unhappy with, I'd just leave. And if they made a law in Romania where I live I'm unhappy with, I would just leave. One thing that Andrew Tate is not is dumb. He knows how to sell the dream. He yes. knows how to say things that people want to share. And there's a lot of truth in his statements. Really got He's had IQ. constant viral videos talking about how governments manipulate and control people. How they put lies into citizens' heads and create false realities. The Matrix. The most valuable thing on the planet today is human capital. Even the people at the very, very top echelons of life, all they care about is, is controlling people. Facts. The only way to escape the Matrix is to follow him and do what he says. He studied exactly right now. what he claims the Western world does. He understands it and then implements like, think about it, bro. The abortion laws, the gun laws, the police uh, system, bro. It's all about controlling people. Have control over someone. You can make them do what you want, clearly, and he knows that. He knows that, and he's using it to his advantage. Like, that's power that's power that's that's really how you advance but then again knowledge is also power like that's what that's what knowledge is power and he discovered this knowledge and he's using it to gain power like it's really chess bro checkers versus chess, those exact bro. strategies he claims to loathe directly back to the people that love and support him so now they are controlled by his matrix but remember andrew tate is never satisfied it was good, but you know, like, I don't ever feel like I'm satisfied. Food means nothing when you're rich. It's too cheap. Any man who sits and says that sex is great or sex is fun, just clearly hasn't had enough sex, because sex is boring. Sex is a chore. <laughs> He's so rich, he doesn't even get fulfillment I cannot food. say that, Money means nothing. He said it over and over again, he wants to come. Like Mario says, I love sex. I get more and more powerful. You don't want money, you want power. The only thing left for you to decide is if he's really trying to better the lives of others and allow them to escape the matrix. Is he using the same exact brainwashing tactics the elite use on his own followers and living life like a reckless mafia boss? Or is this all just one long scheme for him to make another dollar and cure his boredom? Because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it. I couldn't just have a kid with some girl and sit at home and work a little bit and relax. I've never relaxed in my entire life. I don't know what relaxing is. It's just not me. And that is the Andrew Tate.